geeks, what is going on? Unite the Clans here, back in your life. From our server, this is the one we started up with uh, Felris a little while back, and this is going to be our final visit here. Uh, you'll notice that I'm completely naked, there is good reason for that, and I will explain as we get started on what will be our uh, farewell to this server. We're going to do a little tour of everything I have built here, and... Um, if you guys, if any of you guys out there, if you are just casual players, uh, if you're another YouTuber like me and you're looking for a place to play, I'm abandoning this server. And I'm abandoning it with some cool builds and a couple of tame dinos. And if you want to take it over, you just have to contact me and uh, I'll give you the details on how to connect. I was just going to post it in the uh, description, but I figure, I, I don't know if that would work for people. Just contact me and I will connect you and maybe get you to take over my tribe and my dinos. I'll show you what it is that you might be taking over. So, Felris and I started this, and uh, the reason I'm leaving is that uh, Felris isn't a YouTuber anymore. I think he's bored with that. And uh, I wanted to, before I set off and, and join my new server, full of fellow YouTubers, new episode coming tomorrow, I wanted to show you what we've done. This is our, our house. This is the first and only build we really did together. Uh, I decked it out in wood. You can see the stone up top, thatch roof. And then here's our inside. Really simple. Got a fireplace, a little bit of storage, table, blah, blah, blah. We have um, a giant brontosaurus as well. That's old Bronto there, level 46. House built on his back. And these are a couple of the dinos uh, you may be able to take over. That's these Nuts, named by a viewer of mine. And Sidewinder, who's a um, Argentavis. I'm actually going to... Might as well bring them with me. Yeah, you guys want to follow? I don't know if that Bronto's going to follow. If so, that'll be messy. Yeah, he's going to follow. That's all right. We'll bring the whole crew. And uh, I'll... Uh, oh, I, I suppose I should show you before we set off um, the upstairs of this place. And I, I might have to call off that Bronto. She's just too big to play along with it. Speaking of not knowing how to play along, get the hell out of here, you doofus. All right, and why don't you stay here, your yoga pose? I don't know what he's doing, but... Uh, what? Enable follow. Disable follow. What were you doing if you weren't following me? Oh, I get it. All right. So, uh, why are you going now? Jeez, what a racket. Okay, I'm trying to climb a ladder, you fool. There we go. Uh, so this is the upstairs of this place. I kept it pretty simple. This was supposed to be Felvers' room. He clearly peaced out before he did anything with it. This is mine over here. I never did anything with mine, so I'm one to talk. And Jesus, dude, get your tail out of my face. And uh, this is the uh, rooftop view. Big Bronto. I got a raft hiding out here. We'll go hop on that for our journey down to my big house, which uh, if you're a regular viewer of this series, you'll know it. You've, you will have watched it recently. Why don't we just take Sidewinder? and uh, tell him to come with us. I'm not high enough a level to put a saddle on this guy, um, sadly, but I tamed him up. And we're gonna head up, take a quick look at my cottage, then my hunting lodge, and then we'll either take the raft or walk down the coast to uh, my current base, where Bort and um, our Parasaur, whose name I can't remember right now, Hillstrider, they, uh, they're hanging out. Now, um, uh, I should say, guys, I was just there, and the reason that I'm naked is, uh, I just want to make sure I got Bort a lot of berries. Got them all geared up in case I was gone for a while and no one was around to take care of them. I don't want him to sadly just die. I could unclaim him, but I'd love somebody to come in and take over to handle the, my business here. Um, and, uh, I was just collecting some berries, and man, if I'd been on Hillstrider, I might have been able to make him a, a, an escape, but Bort was just too damn slow. Um way too damn slow and uh what came around the corner was literally the most dangerous predator on the island the giga the gigantosaurus it was unbelievable just came out of nowhere and wrecked me instantly i don't know if bort's dead i don't know if hill strider's dead i don't know if my base has been wrecked who knows but uh that's why i'm naked and that's why I figured this is a farewell tour. I don't need clothes. We'll see if I can avoid dying. I'm not that cold. I got a cottage hiding somewhere up here, but I haven't been up there in a long ass time. Basically since I built it. Um, guys, why don't you let me wander? I'll see if I can find my way and um, I'll come back to you. 
And this is the cottage. Just a cute little thatch build I put up here. It overlooks my favorite spot in all of Ark. I'm not sure how well we'll be able to see it at night, but um, we'll go have a look. This, um, I'm just grilling up a little compy. Uh, he came and gave me hell, and because I have no tools, I had to beat him to death with my bare hands, but no problems there. And we'll light this back up, just so we got some light for the night. Um, yeah, UTC's cottage, I even labeled it, just so people would know. And again, really bare on the interior. I, that's something I need to work on, clearly, because when we get to my last big build, you'll see the same thing. This is the hidden lake. I apologize, you can't see it too damn well. Um, but this works, and, um... Guys, uh, if you give me a little bit, I'll work my way down to my hunting lodge in the morning. Uh, I'll show you that, and then we'll set off for my biggest and best build in my raft, which is one of my favorite builds uh, of this little season here. And, uh, yeah, I'll be back with you in just a minute. And here we are. This is another really simple build, guys. Oh, light fire, is that an option? Sweet. Really simple. I just wanted a uh, spot where I could come out. A little further from my base, I think this is the first thing I built after the uh, the other base. And I know that the area behind me here is uh, sort of a long canyon and it's always filled with dinos. So I figured this would be a good spot to come set up base and hunt for meat. I had a sleeping bag in here at one point. And uh, oh, nothing good in there. That's cool. Um, but we don't anymore. Uh, you are welcome to put one back. Oh, fire going out. That's cool. Uh, we got one more key spot to hit. It is my biggest and best base build. And why don't I keep you guys with me as we hustle back to my boat. Uh, I'm cold and hungry. Uh, but I, uh, I know this is my last time hanging out on this server. And I know that my favorite dinos were probably killed by Giga the Gigantosaurus when I left my last base there. I honestly don't know what we're coming back to if that giant beast of a, a dino is going to... Uh, it's going to rear his ugly head and come back for us, but either way, we're going to hop in this raft once I, I get there. I'll show you around there, and then um, I'll probably take another quick break and come back to you when we're back at the big house, the big house on the north shore uh, of the island. Oh, look, dinos all over the place. Where did I park the raft? Oh, is that Bev? I think that's my other trike. I forgot she was out here. At least she's not dead. At least she isn't dead. Um... Yeah, over the course of my time here, I tamed a ton of parasaurs along with D's Nuts, a couple Trikes, Bort, and Bev, uh, the Argentavis, which, whose name was Sidewinder, who I lost somewhere in those woods. Oh well, you can find her if you do come over to this server. Bev. Big Bev. She's a good girl. Uh, you know what? Leave her here. You guys know where Bev is if you do come visit. <laughs> and uh, I think my raft is just around the way here. <laughs> Now, uh, it's not the most fun of a view when I'm actually piloting the thing. You really can just... There she is. You can really just see the structure I've built on top. So once I've given you a little tour of this thing, then uh, I will sail it, and I'll come back with you when I get there. Uh, let's put the torch away. That's not how you do it. Here we go. And this is it. This is the raft. This is one of my favorite things I've built on this short time in this server. All right, so I'll hop out of the driver's seat, and uh, I'll show you around. So obviously sail up front. I put stone foundations all over the place here, and then this stone railing. I really like the way this looks. This has like a Roman feel to it to me. Uh, I know Romans never built boats that look like this, but it does kind of feel that way. Uh, main floor, got a little storage, a little campfire, which... Nah, nothing to light up, but I'll light it up nonetheless. And... Um, I had plenty of room over here for a bed. Uh, this is the deck bed, and I've got one in the bridge as well, which, uh, if there is a bridge to this place, it's probably right here. Now the bed up here, you got a great view out the front. Sadly, I never got to pilot this with anybody, um, and that was the real idea. I thought I'd have somebody sit in this chair, kind of give some guidance and go, yeah, a little to the left, a little to the right. Uh, but, uh, I played alone almost the entire time on this whole server, so, uh, I'm gonna put this fire out just so we've got one if we need it, and, uh, I'll pilot this thing down to the north shore, which is, uh, mm, back this way, 
over yonder around the uh, edge of the mountain. And I'll come back to you when we're looking at the biggest and best base I've built and probably a terrifying Gigantosaurus tearing me, my favorite dinos, and my base to bits. Be back with you in a minute. Yeah, right. Yeah, right, you're coming out here. You idiot. Get lost. How are you even gonna get up here? Stupid terror bird, he killed me once. He's coming up this ramp, I'm sure of it any damn second. Stupid bird, they're the freaking worst. Is he just under it, trying to tear it to pieces? SOB. Fine, you can have my stuff, I just had a stupid hide hat. Oh, hi, hi. See ya. Stupid. Drown to death, you idiot. Oh, I'm gonna beach myself. Okay. See ya. All right, guys, almost there. So you can see what I mean about this blocking the view. I tried to pull onto land because I was starving to death because I lost all my stuff because of that giga and I thought I could do this whole tour without needing food or clothing or anything of the sort. My base is just up here. Um, actually, this is a good spot to show you the latest addition. Now, in the last episode, I said, cool, we're, oh, there he is. Yeah, just wreck and face. That's the big bastard that killed me, and I have no idea. He might have killed Bort and Hillstrider, too. We'll just try and keep our distance. Um, that is the watchtower I built out there. That... What the f server lag? It's all good in the hood. Um, yeah, you can see the size of him. It's like a T-Rex on steroids. Terrifying. Anyway, let's wander up there. I'll see if we can uh, avoid... Raising his ire. I'll see if we can play it cool and, and just sneak up to the base and maybe I don't have a gate, so Hi Hi big guy Hello, you don't see me do ya? You don't see me do ya? Keep your distance. This is my territory, okay? This video is gonna end with me getting ganked. I know it Get my head bit right off Hey, Hillstrider, you okay? I think Bort died. I think Bort died. The, the confrontation happened just down here. Um, and it's been so long because I decided to do the tour. Screw my crossbow. Screw my sword. Not interested. This is the base. This is Casa UTC. Uh, and it's up for grabs if somebody wants to come here and take over this damn base. Uh, I put a lot of work and a lot of time into this thing. It could use a coat of paint, I'm sure of that. After spending a little time exploring the Iron Mine server, while well, we'll be setting up in the next episode of Ark, I realized a coat of paint can change things. But this is it. You get a lovely little front porch, um, a couple of bedrooms, one down here, and then you get a little loft above each bedroom. Whoops. Uh, climb it. There we go. Uh, a great view. Uh, whoops of the gigantosaurus that will destroy your life little fireplace out here and these are towers They're a lot taller than this. I think they go up in another two floors. I'll show you those in a minute We just got a little uh, sort of a hay mow little storage space up there uh, And then same thing on this side essentially storage space bedroom down below loft up above and then um this back area, I haven't really figured out what to do with. I've kind of cordoned off these two upper balconies. There's no real way to get up there yet. And then I'm thinking, if it were me, I'd probably have a little eating area over here and a little cooking area over here. That's how I'd do this place. But I left it empty. Let's open her up. And uh, uh, we'll see. Is there an easy way? Yeah, there's a decent way to get up. Oh, wait. I forgot. I did add... Yes. Here you go. This is how you get up here. Yeah, I might have like a little you know, guest sleeping area, or maybe make a little reading, a little library up here. I like to role play when I do builds. I know having a library isn't super necessary or effective in a game like Ark, but um, yeah, I like it. I think it's a cool idea. If you had a big mansion, you'd probably have a room for your books. Uh, let's climb up, and I'll show you just the view from above. Check it. These are the watchtowers. You got two of them up here. That Giganto has gone the other way. Cool. Two of them up here, and uh, the... Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. It's all good in the hood. 
And the last thing I added, I showed this off in the last episode, guys. If you're watching this video, you know you've already been to this place. But we got my little website up there. Actually, you know what? I did some research after last episode. And I don't need that slash C. So we'll just change it. So just in case anybody wanders on here and they do want to see the building of this place or they want to see this video and find out who I am and how to get in touch with me, they can. That's me, guys. And if you haven't already subscribed, go do that right now. And if you've been watching for a while, guys, there are a lot of views happening on these videos without comments. I would love you to come say hi. Now, I totally understand. I watched a thousand videos of my favorite YouTubers before I ever got the confidence to say hi. But guys, it makes my day to know people are out there watching these videos and enjoying them. And if I can fill your day a with a little bit of joy with my builds or my talking, I doubt it, then um, that's my goal out here. And um, you can see I added a lot of final touches to these builds. You can see the stone up behind, and I uh, upgraded the roof, upgraded these towers entirely to stone. I think the place looks great, and I would hate to think that it's just sitting here empty. So, if you are looking for a place to play Ark, and even better, if you're looking for a place to do a Let's Play of Ark, hit me up. I'll get you in contact with the, the, the uh, guy who runs the server, or at least give you the details of it, and um, you're welcome. Come over here, take over this place, take over and rename my tribe and my dinosaurs and retrofit this whole place. Take down the Unite the Clan sign, put up your own, and call this place home. I'd hate to see it left to ruin when I leave this server. Now that being said guys, I am leaving for a bigger, better place. A server full of other YouTubers who are constantly active, constantly building and taming and breeding dinos. And that's the kind of place that I want to be. So as much as this is a sad farewell to the boozebuzz.biz server, uh, I am happy to say that I'm going to be joining the Iron Mind server and playing with some very cool YouTubers in the next ARC video I post. So geeks, thank you so much for watching this one. And stay tuned for a new season of ARC kicking off from a new server later this week. Thanks for watching. And I will see you all in the next episode. I feel strange from myself tonight. You stay cool and wise.